Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing very, very well. Today's video is going to be all about my summer capsule wardrobe. I'm going to be talking about categories that I feel like everybody should have or you already have in your wardrobe and hopefully this video is going to be helpful so you can bring it to the forefront of your wardrobe and get good use out of it during this summer season. It's going to be a long video so grab yourself a drink, a snack, a cup of tea. It's going to be quite a chatty video so get ready. Also if you like the sound of this video and if you like this video give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out. It helps to push my content out in the YouTube algorithm um, and I just appreciate it so so much. I'll link everything which I'm wearing in the description box and also all my jewellery if you want to learn more about my jewellery I have a jewellery collection video where I talk about all of my favourite pieces there's going to be a theme in this video and the theme is going to be linen okay first item which I'm going to be showing you all is this beautiful dress from Reese I have talked about this dress a lot it's for me it's an investment dress because it's pricey i tend to stick to high street this is premium high street this dress i'm so glad that i have it because it feels amazing so for someone who loves neutrals and white dresses and linen this is a must-have item in my collection and this dress represents white dresses i would say everybody needs a white dress multiple white dresses in their summer capsule wardrobe i feel like white dresses are a classic in anyone's summer wardrobe another white dress which i absolutely love is from abercrombie i will insert the picture here um it's just such a beautiful dress and um, it's a little bit more affordable than the one from reese it's a beautiful dress the quality is amazing the fit of it is amazing i overall just love this white dress the second category of dresses which i personally love and i love them for more casual wear are any kind of dress which has a smock detail in the bust area now it's very specific and quite specific for me as this is my summer capsule wardrobe i thought i would share items or categories of items which i genuinely love and wear a lot so what i mean by this are dresses which have this kind of detail in the bust area and just flow at the bottom i have multiple dresses in this shape in this style in my wardrobe and what started this whole love affair is a pink dress which i got from zara last year ever since then i have accumulated quite a few of these dresses including this one here from abercrombie it is a stunning dress love the color it's like a pistachio green it's so comfortable i think it even yes it has pockets don't get me wrong the one from zara is really nice and the quality does feel good but this one from abercrombie the quality is really there and I think Abercrombie do this dress in multiple different shades and also different patterns as well. I also have more colourful alternatives from Amazon Fashion so I have this pink one and also this multicolour one here. Again the same style. I love wearing these types of dresses just around the house where I want to wear something comfortable. I want to be braless. I feel comfortable going braless with these types of dresses because it doesn't show too much and if you don't like showing your arms if you prefer to be a bit more covered up uh, i also have this one from amazon fashion in this beautiful um yellow color it's so stunning i love this dress they have it in multiple different colors and i'm so tempted to get every color that they have they have a white one if you prefer just something a little bit more neutral they have beiges they have other vibrant shades as well and i think they also have short versions but personally i do like the longer versions so with this one the material is like a cottony material so it's super breathable next category for me are linen shirts again i have quite a collection now um i have this one here from primark this is just a white linen shirt this one i got from the primark edit collection um so it's quite new into my wardrobe i can't link it because it's primark however i will link uh h&m alternative h&m does linen like no other like no other high street brand you will see a lot of H&M linen um, in this video, but this one is actually from Primark, it's oversized. I have a non-oversized version of a white linen shirt from H&M, but I thought I would show you this one um, via H&M. They're amazing, okay? And speaking of the brand, I have this striped one um, from H&M, which I got a few months back. This one, unfortunately, will be out of stock. Um, but it's just white with beige stripes. I don't know if you can see that. And then very recently, I also got this peachy orangey one. So stunning. I mean, and then I recently got this green one from Next. It's a much more vibrant one. The quality is amazing. The feel is quite soft. 
and yeah this one's quite oversized and i got it in a size 12. aside from linen shirts i would also say that white t-shirts are an absolute staple i have so many different white t-shirts from different brands my favorite ones that i have found are um primark i love the primark fitted white t-shirts they're like two pounds i also love the ones from amazon fashion so i will link the ones from amazon fashion the white t-shirts from there are really good quality and then for a more premium alternative i would say that cos do really good high quality white t-shirts or t-shirts in general so those are the three brands which i would personally recommend when it comes to t-shirts so i have three different types of bottoms which i'm going to be talking about aside from jeans we'll get onto jeans in a second i have this skirt here which is from h&m it's a linen blend skirt it has this beautiful um like off-white and blue pattern it's absolutely stunning i do love a wrap style skirt because i find them the most flattering on most people i also love a good pair of linen trousers you can go for just a classic white pair but i'm actually going to be showing you guys this one it's a black and white pair of linen trousers these ones i recently got from h&m as well so comfortable i like wide leg trousers in summer i swap out my winter joggers to linen pants during spring and definitely summer and then i also have a pair of linen shorts as well again h&m they have so many in different colors linen shorts are just perfect for a really hot day when there's a heat wave these are what i love wearing when it comes to jeans i like to wear light denim i really don't gravitate towards black denim or deep blues or even well mid blues i like of course i feel like they work all year round however i really do like light denim um in summer i love this kind of bleached denim look it goes with my summer palette these ones are actually from lee they have an elasticated side i will link these in the description box they're from amazon fashion i'm not sure how many they have um but i will definitely link them in the description box they are so comfortable they are probably one of the softest pairs of jeans i have um, i'm going on holiday very soon i think these are the jeans which i'm going to take with me because i love the shape of them they're like a mom jean so they're not too tie aside from blue jeans i also really do like um cream or off-white jeans um so these are a pair of i think h&m called them trousers um i actually cut i actually cut the bottom of mine just to make them even more summery um just because i like that look during summer what i love about these jeans is that they're just so comfortable they're like a mom style fit they're elasticated at the top they just feel good they feel good they're comfortable they go with so many different things why are off-white jeans are a summer staple let's talk about denim shorts so i have two here i have these off-white creamy creamy colored ones and then also a pair of light blue ones as well just underneath so these are the zara bermuda shorts i like a longer line short i really don't like short shorts um i'm actually in the hunt for a pair of shorts like this but with rips on them so if you have any recommendations definitely let me know because i am looking for some but yeah i i love these shorts i recently got them tailored i sent them off to the tailors so that they can be taken in at the waist because i was wearing these jeans and they're just the fit just was off and i had them like that for a, a year or so and then i was like you know what these are a stable pair of shorts these are my favorite shorts i just need to sort the waist out and ever since then i've worn them a lot lot more now that they actually fit me so yeah these ones are from zara i will link them in the description box because i'm sure they still do them let's talk about jackets in the uk our summers are quite are always a disappointment to be honest because i mean it's june now and we still haven't had one week of consistent sun it has rained at least once every week of this year so far because of this we always need a jacket okay so if you live in a climate like the uk and summer is just not summering then you need a jacket the first type of jacket which i love to wear during summer is a denim jacket so this is the denim jacket which i'm going to be showing you it's from levi's i got this years ago as a christmas present from jack and um, absolutely love it it's actually part of the men's collection and i remember back then back then when i got this one i was like oh it's so oversized like oh gosh it's so oversized it's a man's jacket and now this is my fitted jacket because the trend is to be even more oversized so um it's the i think it's the levi's trucker jacket in a size small love it i feel like 
This is more of a classic style of denim jacket in the sense that it is oversized, it's not tight fitting. It works with dresses, it works with other things, whereas when you go really oversized, you can only really wear an oversized denim jacket with more sporty looks, whereas this one I feel like is more universal. The next type of jacket which I feel like everybody needs are blazers. I love a good blazer. I've got three which I'm going to show you but I have so many more. First blazer which I'm going to be talking about is a white blazer. I feel like everybody needs a white blazer, everybody needs a black blazer and like a beigey camel one as well. So this one is actually from Zara. I styled it quite a few times on my channel but any kind of white blazer it's just going to be a friend okay. It's going to be a friend when it's a little bit chilly but you still want the summer vibe. White blazer is where it's at. <laughs> Other than your white, black and camel blazer, I like to add a little bit of colour, okay? So, first one is this sage green one, which is from H&M. I won't talk too much, I won't talk too much about it because it's actually unavailable. I got it last year. Um, yeah, I'll link a green alternative. I feel like green is a very, especially when it's like a soft green like this one, it's very wearable. Um, it almost works as a neutral. And then I have this pink one, which is like my fun blazer. It's just, this color is beautiful. It's a full suit. I'm not sure if it's available anymore, so I will link an alternative. So yeah, I love wearing neutral blazers, but oh, I love this pink color as well. It's just so fun. This last jacket, might be you might be a bit confused because i feel like it's more of a it's more of a spring jacket and but i'm still rocking mine okay i'm even thinking of really investing this autumn winter in a bougie one okay let's let's just talk about the trench coat this one i got from h&m now h&m i feel like i've had so many high street i've had quite a few high street trench coats h&m for me just do the best ones because Personally, I like a long line trench coat. However, I am five foot eight, um, so I'm on the taller side. And finding a trench coat which is long and just gives me that, the long vibe, you know the long vibe? I don't even know if there's such thing as a long vibe. And actually hits like my mid calf, can be a bit of a struggle. Um, this one just does everything for me, okay? It's oversized, I can lay things underneath. It's long line, it fits well, the quality is good. We're not in trench coat season, I'm not gonna lie to you, we are not in trench coat season. So not a lot of brands have trench coats out at the moment. I think as soon as we hit autumn, winter, and definitely like spring, um, then that's when brands tend to release them more. But I wear my trench coat all year round, okay? So in summer, when it's cold, because it usually is here, I will wear my trench coat. I'm gonna do a video very soon all about my about my summer shoe collection i'm not going to talk about shoes in this video check out that video when it comes out in like a couple of weeks time but i had to talk about the basket bag because we all need a good summer basket bag during summer and this one is a bougie one it's from loewe i love it and i'm so glad that i did spend the money on it to be honest I, I i wouldn't say you need a pricey one um a lot of places on the high street again h&m i know i keep talking about them it's not an ad but yeah h&m bring out really good basket bags and also mango do really good ones as well so i will try and find alternatives and leave them in the description box but this one if you are feeling a little bit spending you want to treat yourself I would recommend this one from the Webby. It does travel pretty well. I have travelled with it and I really enjoy using it for that too. I love using it for actual holidays, but also in the UK when I just want to, you know, take a little bit more with me, um, I will use this bag. And because it has the sturdy leather straps, it's just really good quality. I love it. I do love it. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was quite long, quite chatty, but I hope this video was helpful in showing you guys my summer capsule wardrobe. Um, let me know if there's anything else that I should add, anything that I've missed. I probably have missed out quite a few things. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.